Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how the action of the heart is initiated and coordinated. In the last video we looked at the structure of the human heart and we saw that the heart is a muscular organ. During the heartbeat the muscular walls of the heart contract and this contraction forces blood to the lungs and to the other organs in the body. In this video we're looking at how the heartbeat is initiated and coordinated. In a later topic we'll be looking at how the rate of the heartbeat is determined by the conditions within the body. Now the first key idea you need to understand is that the heartbeat is initiated from within the heart itself. In other words the heart does not need an external signal in order to beat. Because the heart triggers its own beat scientists say that the heart muscle is myogenic. Now in order to illustrate how this takes place I'm going to use a simplified diagram of the human heart. I'm highlighting the walls of the heart and the septum. In the wall of the right atrium there's a group of specialized cells called the sinoatrial node or SAN. This is also called the pacemaker. The cells in the sinoatrial node depolarize. In other words they become electrically excited. This triggers a wave of electrical excitation to spread across the atria and this causes the atria to contract. This contraction of the atria is called the atrial systole. Now this wave of electrical excitation crossing the atria cannot pass directly down to the ventricles. That's because the ventricles are separated from the atria by a layer of non-conducting tissue and this layer of tissue will not pass the electrical excitation through it. However, between the atria, there's another group of specialized cells called the atrioventricular node, or AVN. The AVN is connected to conducting fibers called perkine fibers. Initially, the perkine fibers are bundled together, and scientists call this the bundle of Hiss. However, this then branches, with perkine fibers running down to the apex, or base of the heart, and then up the walls of the ventricles. The atrioventricular node detects the electrical excitation passing over the atria. And after a short delay, the AVN then transmits the electrical excitation down the perkine fibers. This electrical excitation causes the ventricles to contract. Now a key idea you need to understand is that the ventricles contract from the apex upwards. And this ensures that the maximum volume of blood is pumped out of the ventricles. Now as we said before, there is a slight delay before the AVN triggers electrical excitation down the perkine fibers. And this slight delay ensures that the ventricles contract after the atria have contracted. In the next video, we're going to look at the events taking place in the heart during the heartbeat. And scientists call this the cardiac cycle. 